Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Lex and today I am drawing Scorpio. Scorpio is a scorpion and scorpions are very funky looking and they have a lot of segments, they have a lot of moving parts and they have a lot of claws and I was extremely intimidated going into Scorpio and he's derpy right now and that is okay. But I was extremely intimidated going into Scorpio because there were Scorpions, I mean, they're cool. They're really cool, unique, crazy looking animals. And I think all of them should live in Australia because they just seem like they're a purely Australian sort of thing, but they're not in Australia, they're here too. However, um, there's just, I don't know. I didn't know how to address all those segments. And so I did a really rough draft, except that rough draft actually ended up being really good. And it guided me through the entire process, the entire artistic process. So. I was pretty proud of myself because usually I deviate a lot from my rough drafts because um, you notice things that weren't there before and you just have to keep going with it. But you know what? For this one, it actually worked out really, really well. And I rather appreciated that. Part of that is probably because there were just so many weird little, little knickernacker um, segmented parts that you really have to pay a lot of attention because one wrong move will just make the entire thing look weird. They're very mechanical, very robotic. Which, by the way, I can definitely tell why scientists like to make those little, like, robotic insects, because insects themselves are, they almost remind me of little robots, the way that they're formed. Or maybe robots just remind me of insects. That would probably make more sense. Look at that stinger. How cool is that? Like, what would cause an animal to go evolved to be like that. That's just insane. Insanely cool, mind you, but I don't know. That's just crazy to me. They say that the bigger the scorpion, the less uh, terribly venomous they are. So not, not like that, but the less that it hurts <laughs> when they sting you. And I've never been stung by a scorpion. I've handled quite a few in my life because, well, I have quirky friends who like to keep interesting pets, as do I, but I have yet to own a scorpion. Someday I might, but not yet. But um, yeah, they say that they hurt less when they're bigger. So the main pet scorpion that I see a lot of people having is uh, emperor scorpions or the big black ones that they use in a lot of the movies, like the mummy. I believe that the uh, they use black scorpions, the emperor scorpions and those ones. And then also the Asian forest scorpions. And they're also a bigger breed of scorpion. Or species, I should say, and they're not exactly like breeds like cats and dogs. And the little guys tend to hurt a lot more, and a lot of times they're a little more venomous, and you should probably watch out for them a lot. More than you would the bigger guys. I guess when you're a little guy, you kind of have to find ways to protect yourself out there. It's a big world, and it seems like everything wants to eat everything else, so you can't blame them. I should probably mention, I decided to go with a purple color palette because, well, purple is just a dang cool color, number one, and number two is that it's a very, like, almost a magical, sort of mystical color. There's a lot of mystique to it as well, and Scorpio people, stereotypically, mind you, they're said to have a lot of secrets. They like to keep their secrets, and... They just kind of have a mystique about them. I know one Scorpio person. And you know what? Yeah, probably the most mysterious person I know so far in my decent friend circle. But I only know one of them. Maybe some of you guys talk a lot. I don't know, but the one I know definitely doesn't. And 
And yes, 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 I am using the cut tool. Originally, I decided that I was gonna do um, brushes because if you use a brush, it takes a lot longer to do the art and that is absolutely fine, except I kind of broke down and started using the cut tool for something and I really just liked the feel of it. I'm definitely a cut tool kind of person. I've never used it before I started doing uh, regular digital art, but I, I don't know. I just really like it. It works out really well. And for this one, I actually ended up layering it. Not like sort of a pop art feel, but it almost has a, it has its own feel to it. It almost looks like shading. It's that well layered and I really liked it. So I'll probably keep on using it that way from now on. You learn little by little. I really love that tool. It does get a little tedious going back and forth between cut tool, fill tool, cut tool, fill, cut fill, cut fill, but you know what? It's worth it in the end because the end product always looks really good. Those fangs are a pretty hard part. I did deviate a little bit from the traditional or the original skeleton with those, but you can hardly tell. Everything's just so tiny and little bitty, itty bitty pieces up there that you wouldn't even notice. Also, while I'm drawing or coloring in the feet and all of that, the legs, can we just talk about how they have these adorable tiny little pincher toes? I think they're really cute. Somewhere on the internet, I don't know where, maybe a fr actually no, a friend sent it to me. Spiders have little paws. Like the little jumping spiders, really up close, it looks like they have little paws. I don't know if that's true or if somebody photoshopped it, but I want to know more about these spider paws because it was the most adorable thing I could possibly see on a spider. I like spiders, mind you. I'm, I'm not a fan of certain animals, but I like spiders a lot. Well, I mean, a lot being, hey buddy, I'm not gonna kill you if I see you in my house. You know, like, it's that kind of relationship with a spider. But yeah, if you guys ever check out the Lucas the Spider videos, if you have a fear of spiders, I think it'll help you get over them because those videos are so cute. I love them. <laughs> They're a little old now, or at least some of them are. I watched them back in high school, so it's been a few years but they're definitely adorable. And some people claim that they've it's helped them to stop hating spiders so much. Maybe not get over their fear, but stop hating spiders so much. And that's a cool thing. It's really hard because you know, spiders are everywhere. You kind of just have to learn to live with them. Thankfully, scorpions aren't everywhere. Me, I like scorpions, but I don't know how I'd feel about walking around and finding one in my house. I might be a little, little freaked out by that, not gonna lie, but you know, you know, things happen. Oof, a busy background, but don't worry, it doesn't stay like that for long. darkening it up so that the scorpion actually still exists or pops out because you know you kind of want the main subject of the piece to be there. I was just having fun with different tools that I've never used before. Sometimes you gotta do that. And I'm a bubble fiend. I love bubbles. Bubbles are the best thing ever. I think they're fun. And when I was a kid, I really didn't play with them too often. So maybe in all of my drawings where I just kind of go and play with bubbles all the time and a lot of my drawings have them. Maybe I'm just making up for all the times I didn't play with them as a kid. I don't know, but I really like bubbles. I think they have a fun, magical sort of feel to them. So they actually kind of go with the Scorpio. 
and you made it all the way to the end of the video, so great job. If you liked it, well, consider liking, and if you really liked it, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. See you, bye.